Hello dear friends, greetings from beautiful Thailand. I'm so grateful to be here again and grateful to be recovered from COVID. So for those of you who are going through COVID right now, uh, do not be afraid. The, the fear can add so much pain and sickness to the COVID. Um, very, very many are going through the COVID right now but most people are just healing just all right for me it was seven days of fever uh, in bed and after that i totally recovered so um, just have patience but do not be afraid do not be afraid just take care of yourself drink water and uh, rest your body don't exhort yourself on just those days and then uh, I pray in Jesus' name that you will recover quickly and be well. Uh, today I wanted to speak about something that's actually grieving me a lot. And that is when I see both friends and, and strangers who clearly crave uh, a connection to the divine. They crave a fellowship where they can be appreciated and loved and feel seen and they f and they crave like finding truth and spirituality and some people go to freemasonry to try to find uh, mysticism to find rituals to find uh, uh, friendship and fellowship uh, but also something that is secret, something that is like divine, something that is bigger than themselves. Some go to new age, to yoga and meditation and the spiritual sides of that Hinduism uh, and seek to have connection. And I've heard lately more and more people seeking in uh, psychopharmaca, like um, in, in drugs. Um, trying to open their mind to the spiritual realm to, to the spiritual realm whatever it is and shamanism etc and that is sad but the most sad thing is that we as a church have not managed to tell people that all these things they are found in Jesus. Jesus sounds like a boring, dry word of religion to people. And that is not his fault. That is our fault. Because we have made it something that is not the whole truth. Yes, I'm not saying we are, we are totally out of sync with what God wants. But he wants more. Uh, the Holy Bible says that God is spirit. God is spirit and those who worship him should worship him in spirit and in truth. So meaning if you are seeking a spiritual experience, where more than Jesus our God? He is the spirit. He has created everything. So if you crave a spiritual experience, then come bow your knees I mean seriously bow down kneel down and close your eyes and be there with Jesus and say Lord Jesus I understand you are God I understand you are greater than I have understood so far you are spirit and you are God in heaven and now I seek you because I want to meet with you and then stay there in this spiritual encounter stay until he answers because Jesus has said that whoever calls on him in truth with a whole heart shall find him so if you seek Jesus who is God in the flesh the God who created the palm trees and the sky and everything and the waves behind me and you know I don't know if you can see I'm very close to the sea so that's the noise you're hearing it's the ocean the, the Thai uh, Thai ocean so 
really don't don't just go to church don't just see a Christian video but go on your knees go on your knees close your eyes and go into the spiritual realm and ask Jesus to show himself to you and wait there because he has said that everyone who seeks him shall find him and anyone who calls on him with a whole heart in truth shall be saved that means shall be helped shall be forgiven so that you are uh, all the yeah that's another topic the shame many of us are carrying burdens of shame uh, and we don't really know who we are so we want to feel significant and you you get that with Jesus you will know why you are born you will know why you are here on earth at this time and this place you will know that when you come to Jesus he will tell you and he will lift off you and his shame shame of you because Jesus took our pain our shame our sins and failures everything we wish we hadn't done he took it on himself on the cross so that we don't have to carry it any longer there is a true new start there is a true fresh start that you get when you go to Jesus so and there is a global family I am here in Thailand and and yesterday I met uh, with um, a Thai not a rich guy but someone I had never met him before and yet we connected and with Esther from Brazil and me from Norway we connected in such a deep level um, a deep spiritual level just right away and that's how it is you have when you believe Jesus you come as like Esther saw a vision when we were talking with him and she said that it is incredible that um, that people from so different cultures and who never met before can have this instant amazing connection spiritually and she said that she saw Jesus as a beautiful flower and then us as bees coming together from all corners of the world to him so when we kind of worship and love and have <laughs> are passionate about seeking Jesus then we will meet there at the flower <laughs> um, with people from all corners of life and all corners of the world and have the instant connection and, and we have a global family so you are not alone you are connected to a big global family the biggest in the world uh, more than 2.6 billion people are followers of the way followers of Jesus who is the way the truth and the life and um, I will finish now but think about it you don't have to go to new age you don't have to go to Ouija boards you don't have to take uh, drugs to experience uh, spiritual reality Jesus is spirit and truth and when your mind is set on him the Bible says that then you have um, spirit and life. No, the mindset on the spirit is life and peace. So you have life and you have peace. And we really like a, a live life, <laughs> a vivid life, and you have peace. And so many people are seeking that. Many people are writing to me. So I kind of. I think I could have a full full time job just praying for the people who, who write to me and ask for me to pray for them and I, I pray for people every day and most people are praying for emotional things they are going through emotional terrible times where they have no peace where they are suffering in sorrow where they are left alone by their partner where they are 
lacking jobs and are fearful of economy future and sickness and mental illness and uh, yeah emotional illness and uh, let me pray for all of you right now and if you think that this could be inspirational to someone then please share it with them and just know that the the open heaven that you might be searching for the spiritual experience the connection to the divine knowing who you are and being connected to a global family in love and in peace you get all that if you like a bee just focus on Jesus and he will lead you he will guide you to spiritual de depths and to global connections he does that for me and I love him ever more every day so please just uh, dive into his word in the Holy Bible read about Jesus then go on your knees I mean on the floor be on your knees close your eyes and pray and wait till he comes and ask him to show himself for you and show you who you are and show you what he wants with you and read the Bible till he speaks read the Bible till he speaks and then maybe have a notebook and note down so that you kind of take seriously what you hear when you are in God's presence and which Bible verses actually speak a lot to you don't just read the Bible as a history book read it as a spiritual revelation where God speaks through those words into your heart and your situation and you'll see amazing miracles like I live okay God bless you Father, I pray for those who are watching. I pray that they will also find you. I pray for hunger in them to seek you and find you. And Lord, I ask that as they seek you, they will, you will reveal yourself to them. I ask for powerful spiritual encounters now as they go to the floor and sit on their knees and wait for you as they open their Bible for the first time in a long time and read till you speak. I thank you that your word is alive and it is active and it is energized with heaven's energy. So Lord, let your word impact them, let your word heal them, let your word deliver them, take off shame, and put your freedom and strength in them. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We love you. There is no king like you. There is no God like you. You are God and there is no one else. Yahweh, our God. God in the flesh. Amen. Did you feel that? So just continue now.